background. I got interested in agriculture because when I was 15, I went to my aunt's ranch in Arizona. Stick around for a little while, so if okay. you guys want to one-on-one uh, Q&A, uh, you're able to stick around and meet and greet with Dr. Grennan. Thank you for showing up today. We appreciate it. Well, young people today are much further away from agriculture. There was a survey by Candace Crony and her students at Purdue that showed that 31% of young people have never been on a farm. It said that young people today are getting further and further away from the world of practical things. But I think a lot of millennials today want to get back in touch with the land. This is something that they really want to do. This is one of the reasons why there's interest in things like local agriculture. Another thing that people need to understand about horses and cattle is they're sensory-based thinkers. They don't think in words. So they tend, when they get afraid of something, they tend to get afraid of something that they were looking at or seeing right when the bad thing happened. I knew a horse that was terrified of black cowboy hats. Another really important thing is the animal's first experience with something new like a horse trailer needs to be a good first experience because bad first experiences make a very big, long-lasting bad impression. Well, it took me a long time to learn that my visual thinking was different than other people. But that helped me in my work with animals uh, because it made sense to me to look at what cattle were looking at. And some of the very first work that I ever did with cattle, I got down in the chutes to see why they were balking. They'd balk at a shadow. They'd balk at a truck parked next to the chute, a coat on a fence, a hose on the floor. Little details we tend to not notice, they noticed. Well, I'm concerned in all animals about overselecting for single traits. Okay, we select the horse to run, 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 and we have horses that break their front legs. That's absolutely not normal, even when they're just running on soft dirt. Starting to see some leg conformation issues in cattle. You've got bulldogs that can't breathe. That's overselection for single traits. We, we need to be selecting animals, no matter what animals they are, that are functional animals. There's some people in cattle that think you don't need to do visual selection of cattle. We need to do it to keep out of trouble. So we have good feet and legs. So we're gonna have bulls and cows that can function out on the range. I get asked all the time, how did I get interested in the cattle industry? I was exposed to cattle when I was a teenager, when I went to my aunt's ranch. If I had not gone to my aunt's ranch, I would have never gotten interested in cattle. I have a saying, you have to expose students to interesting things to get them interested in interesting things. And I'm concerned today that so many students aren't getting exposed to enough things that they can turn into careers.